Hello everybody and welcome in today's video. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can use the Bybit Exchange, but not on your computer or your laptop, but how you can use it on your phone. How you can use the Bybit app to trade Bitcoin and all the altcoins pairs that they are offering onto their exchange, because most of the time as a trader, yeah, you don't have time to be 24 seven behind your computer. And nowadays you are on the road and you need to do something or you want to take advantage of a certain opportunity, or you might want to hedge your Bitcoin into stable coins. That is all possible with the Bybit app. So in today's video, guys, I'm going to show you exactly how you can use the Bybit app when trading on the road. And the Bybit application is offering some different functionalities as well. For example, you can set certain signals over there. So when the price of Bitcoin hits a certain level, you will be notified on your smartphone. And the application is available for both iOS and Android. And if you don't have an account on the Bybit platform yet, then I would highly suggest you to create an account using my affiliate link below this video. Because if you use my specific affiliate link below this video to create your account over on Bybit, you can get an additional bonus of 600 US dollars, but you can as well enjoy 10% discount on your fees for the first month that you are using Bybit. Creating an account over on Bybit only takes a couple of seconds. Below this video, you will find a link which will bring you to the sign up page where you can create your account over on the Bybit exchange. Now guys, let's dive into the Bybit exchange application. So guys, when I open the Bybit application on my mobile phone right here, then you can see it will bring us to the home screen. And then on the left upper corner in the home screen, you have your account settings There you can log in, you can sign up and so on. Then on the right upper corner, you have this yeah, headphone icon, but also the notification center. So right here, you can look at all the notifications that are yeah, anything that has been changing over on the Bybit exchange. But next to that, you have the customer support, which is actually one of the good things about Bybit is that you can directly uh, yeah, chat with somebody and ask certain questions if you stumble up yeah, certain, uh, certain things that you don't understand. Then below, we have a couple of shortcuts. Um, we got the deposit button. We got a alert button. We got a button to invite friends. And next to that, we got the rewards hub. Below that, we have two buttons, buy five cent or quickly buy crypto using a credit or debit card. And below that, we can actually see all the trading pairs, which on the derivatives market is, yeah, a lot of trading pairs. And recently, Bybit has launched the spot market as well. So you can trade a couple of cryptocurrencies on the spot market as well, including Bitcoin and Ethereum. So that's quite interesting because sometimes you might be in a situation that you have Bitcoin stored in your Bybit account, but you might not want to be trading on the derivatives market, but you want to hedge into a, a stable coin due to the fact that you think that Bitcoin might be dropping in a yeah during a certain period so that could be a nice reason i think that is one of the it's a very important thing for a derivatives platform to offer things like that as well then let's have a look at the bottom of the page right here there we can see all the yeah the most important buttons we have the home section we have markets where we will be looking at and right now we are looking at our favorites and here we can see the bitcoin us dollar inverse perpetual and below that we can see the bitcoin usdt which is a us dollar tether perpetual contract and there's a difference between these contracts because if we have a inverse perpetual contract that means that the contract is being settled in that certain cryptocurrency so if it's bitcoin usd then that contract is settled in bitcoin if it would be ethereum usd then that contract would be settled in ethereum but bybit is also offering usdt perpetual contracts which means that these contracts are settled in us dollar tether so that is the main difference right here right now we are looking at our favorites and of course you can add or delete certain tokens so right here we have dosh coin for example and we can easily like delete that or remove that from our favorites and if we want to add any market to our favorites we just go to the derivatives markets right here we click one for example right here matic against us dollar we click the star button right here and then you can see it is add to favorites and then right here below favorites we can see it so that makes it uh, that you can create a nice overview overview for yourself on which cryptocurrencies you want to yeah quickly want to go to to 
be able to trade them then guys on the right side we have the spot market here we can see the trading pairs that are in our favorites on the spot markets if we go to the top of the screen and we will go to the derivative section right here then right here we can see all the trading pairs that are available over on the Bybit exchange and you can select them to look for example at all the inverse perpetual contracts or for example at all the us dollar tether contracts which are actually quite a lot like polkadot uniswap litecoin solana Chainlink, and so on and if we go to the right side to the spot section right here then we can find all the trading pairs that are available over on the bybit exchange to trade on the spot market and right now that are bitcoin eos ethereum and ripple so guys that is pretty straightforward right if we want to trade for example bitcoin with an inverse perpetual contract which we are normally doing then we click right here on bitcoin usd and then below the bottom of the page you can find the bottoms long and short so here you can type for example okay i want to long bitcoin and that will bring us to the page where we can actually open a order on bitcoin and guys what we're basically seeing on this page is a simplified version of the exchange that we normally use in the desktop so if we were to go over all of this then yeah on the left side you can see the order types then on the right side you can see the order book and then below we can see our positions or, or open orders so let's start with the top of the page right here if i click on this 5x then we can see that we can adjust our leverage right here similar as what we can do over on the laptop on the desktop we can use for example cross margin or we can select a isolated margin well most of the time as you guys know i'm using a isolated margin so that is okay right here then below on the left side we can select the order type so right now we can select if we want to yeah use a limit order a market order or a conditional order and a yeah, quick explanation what the difference is between these orders is that a limit order is a order that will be executed when the price of Bitcoin is reaching that certain price. So let's say when Bitcoin is um, 34,000 US dollars you can set a limit order for 33,000 US dollars. So when the price comes down to 33,000 US dollars your order will be filled and a market order is different a market order is a order that will be executed directly at the best available market price and a conditional order is a order where you can set a trigger price so when the price of bitcoin hits a certain level it will execute a certain order it can be a market order can be a li limit order so but in this example we are going to yeah let's let's start with a limit order okay so bitcoin right now as we can see is 33,620 so let's say if Bitcoin were to reach uh, 33,200, we want to open a yeah, position on Bitcoin of 50,000 US dollars. Or let's say, let's make it 40,000 US dollars. We got a uh, 5x leverage right here. Then below we can see the order value, which is 1.2 Bitcoin. Then below that we can see the available balance of us, which is 0 0.34 Bitcoin. And below we can see buy long or sell short. Well, we want to go long whenever Bitcoin is reaching that level. Always important, guys, to select the post only button right here when you are when you want to set a limit order. Then right here you can click on buy long. Here we can see the contract de details. We want to open a limit long position on Bitcoin once it reaches 33,200. Order quantity of 40,000 US dollars. The cost are 0.24 Bitcoin approximately. We have a 5x leverage and the estimated liquidation price is 27,782. Then right here we can click on confirm. And then below we can see in the orders that there is a active order uh, that we just have been setting. So that position is not yet open because Bitcoin hasn't reached that price, right? So right now we can cancel this order like that and then the order is um, yeah gone from our active orders and uh, let's say we want to open a position on bitcoin right now bitcoin is breaking out so we want to open a market order right then we can click right here we switch to a market order then let's say we want to buy uh, 30,000 
Bitcoin with a market order, which is a order value of approximately 0.9 Bitcoin. We got 0.34, which is more than enough. The long will cost us 0.18 Bitcoin approximately. And yeah, right here we can just click. We can see the uh, contract details right here. We are going to open a market long position on Bitcoin with a quantity of 30,000 US dollars. 5x leverage will cost us 0.18 Bitcoin. And the estimated liquidation price is 28,135. Right here we can click on confirm. Here we can see that the order is successfully filled. And then right here on the positions, we can see that we are right now in a long position on Bitcoin. Then guys, you see two buttons below right here. And that is uh, the take profit and stop loss button. And on the right side, you can see close by. So let's start with the take profit and stop loss. On this page, you can set your stop loss. So let's say if we lose 50% of our order, we want to be stopped out. So uh, we don't lose more money than 50% of our initial investment. So we click right here on confirm. Then we can see that we have a stop loss in play. So guys, right here, you can see that we have been setting a stop loss. So when Bitcoin is reaching that specific level, we will be stopped out of our trade and we will not lose more than approximately 50% percent of our initial investment then on the right side you can see close by there you can close your trade and you can choose whether you want to close your trade with a market order or whether you want to close your trade with a limit order that's pretty straightforward it's actually the same when opening an order when you close a order with a limit order the price of bitcoin first have to reach your limit price before the order will be closed and with a market order you can actually close the position directly at the best available market price you can also choose for example to close half of the position but yeah in this example we will close the 100 percent of our position and then right here we can click on confirm and then our position is closed and we are out of our long position then guys one button to the right we got the spot market section where you can buy bitcoin and a variety of altcoins on the spot market but also where you can sell your bitcoin on the spot market and exchange it for us dollar tether this is actually quite handy and i think it's very good that bybit is offering this to all the users and yeah always make sure if you want to trade on the spot market you will need to go to your asset page right here and you need to um yeah to transfer the equity to transfer your equity from the derivatives account into your spot account and how you can do that is right here using the button transfer and then you can say right here we want to transfer from or let's say we want to transfer from our derivatives account to our spot account so right here we can say from the derivatives account to our spot account we want to transfer bitcoin here we can select the amount let's say we want to transfer 0.1 bitcoin we click on confirm and then right here we can see that we have 0.1 bitcoin into our spot account which has been yeah, taken off from our derivatives account and if you transfer the equity from your spot account to your derivatives account it's yeah it's the same way we just click right here on transfer here we can see the details we click on all click confirm and we can see that the bitcoin is back into our derivatives account and right here we can see some other functionalities like for example right here you can withdraw your crypto from the bybit application as well here we can see a uh, the section where you can see your spot wallet your derivatives wallet also your buy fire wallet but there is another interesting functionality which the buy bit application is offering and this is that you can set certain alerts and if you want to set certain alerts you have to go to the home page right here and you have to click on the alert section but make sure if you want to set alerts that you also allow your phone to uh, get notifications from the buy bit application and guys, to set an alert works pretty straightforward. Right here, we can click, for example, on price alert. Then you can select the contract. Well, in our case, we are going to have a look at the Bitcoin USD contract right here. Then we can say, for example, if Bitcoin is going to reach 35,000 US dollars, we want to get an alert. We want to get a notification. And right here, we can see that that notification is set. Once Bitcoin is reaching 35,000 US dollars, we will get a notification on our smartphone. Then guys, below the price alerts, we actually have quite an interesting notification which we can set. And that is a price spike 
or a price plunge and if we click on there and we click on for example bitcoin usd then we can set a certain alert once the price is spiking or plunging by let's say uh, 4% or 3% within five minutes. So when we are seeing that volatility happening, you will get a notification as well. Then below we can see the changes in open interest and here you can set up a alert as well. For example, let's do this one on Ethereum. We can set a alert that when the open interest changes by for example 3%, we will be getting a notification as well. And below that we have the funding fee reminder which is yeah quite interesting you can set for example on bitcoin you can um yeah get a notification about the predicted funding rate 30 minutes prior to the funding settlement so let's say we can do that for bitcoin so every time 30 minutes before the funding rate is actually being adjusted for bitcoin you will get a notification with the predicted funding rate for the coming period so guys, all of these alerts are actually quite interesting, but I think most of the time you will be using the price alert section when Bitcoin is hitting a certain price or any other contract. You can select any other contract as well, of course, if you want to be there when, for example, the price of a certain asset is breaking out. But I do think that the price spike and price plunge is also quite interesting. So you get notified whenever volatility is hitting the markets. So guys, I hope that right now it is becoming clear how you can use the Bybit application for your trading. Guys, if you learned anything from this video, if you enjoyed watching, don't forget to hit the thumbs up button. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, make sure to subscribe down below, hit the bell icon so you get notified whenever I upload a new video. Then guys, for every single one of you who don't have a account yet over on the Bybit platform, you can use my affiliate link down below this video to sign up over on the Bybit exchange. And if you use my specific affiliate link to sign up over on Bybit, you can get an additional bonus of 600 US dollars and you can enjoy a 10% discount on your fees for the first month that you are using Bybit. Guys, I hope you all enjoyed today's video and I hope to see every single one of you in the next one. Bye bye.